Dana, I looked at the numbers, and I've been keyed on e-commerce just like you have for years now, but the numbers for Walmart and Target were absolutely astonishing. Walmart essentially doubles its online sales, and Target nearly triples it. Is this the look of things to come? It certainly is the look of things to come when you have every other type of store closed except for the essential retailers. I think this accelerated the penetration of online by two to three years for most of the retailers. As stores reopen, you're seeing online moderate a bit, but certainly not a lot. Consumers today realize what they can do with their time. They also are seeing that they can get everything under one roof. And it's this world today where safety means a lot, healthy hygiene is there, you're seeing these discounters be able to provide the assortment of goods, convenience and selection all under one roof in one trip. We're seeing conversion higher than traffic, and I think you're going to see that for the balance of the year. So the first thing I did when I watched those Walmart numbers come out and then the Target ones after that, and even, you know, Home Depot and Lowe's in between those as well, I looked at those e-commerce numbers and I immediately thought the question that came across my mind, what was that versus Amazon? Did Amazon lose ground markedly to Walmart and Target this time around? I think they're all winners, and I think they're going to be the winners for the holiday season also. Keep in mind how many retailers just were shut down. The discretionary retailers, the department stores, the off-pricers, anything in line in an enclosed shopping center. So I think Amazon certainly provided the essentials too. And Amazon, all of those other items, the must-haves, the need-to-haves during this time period. Consumers were able to get convenience and selection. I think you had the winners of discounters and the women as w winners of Amazon, too. And you saw the losers. I mean, off-price was shut down during this three-month time period. And it's hard to get ramped back up because supply chain, distribution, even the fact that goods were canceled, now you have to ramp up, up, back up in a shortened time period. Let's talk about the investment thesis right now for this retail sector. What exactly then means the winners have to do or who the winners are going to be and then who are the ones that need to, are, are pretty much going to outperform and if which ones are going to underperform and need to kind of up their game? When I think of who's going to outperform and what the consumer is doing today, the consumer is focused on essentials. They're focused on convenience. They're spending more time in their home so that renovation of their home is taking place. You're going to see the Amazons, the Walmarts, the Targets, all continue to take share and do well. I think apparel is losing share at this time. Given work from home, you don't need as many different outfits. And it basically the top up in term, terms of this Zoom technology that we're having today. So we're not going to have as exciting an apparel season for 2020. Watch it for 2021. But Target, Walmart, Amazon, I think some of the concerns out there, it's about apparel. Are we? And it's about some of the accessories world. I mean, the new handbags out there, do you need as many of them? I think overall, the tapestries, the capris out there, it'll be a 2021 year that improves for them from what you have in 2020. It was interesting yesterday, Estee Lauder's sales decline improved going into the September quarter from what you had before. So I think Estee Lauder will work.